everyone, this is AJ, back for another video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the app called Stick Notes. This is made by Ralph Damiano. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce your name right. So, yeah. So, I'm going to teach you how to use this app. For others, they don't even know how to add a stick figure or notes. So, I'm just going to teach you in this video on how. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is... So when you open the app, it starts right here, right? The new project, the open project, the right thingies, the app tools. So you gotta go down, go down, and down, and down, and down, until you see this. The show filters, the full screen, the tweening on, and the tween frames. So what you gotta do is, for me, uh, I'm just gonna, so you have to put, you have to on your tweening, and then since it's five, um, for me I just make it eight so that it will be very smooth. And then my an my F so you have to scroll down here at the animations tools, and then my FPS will be five so that also it will be very smooth. But if you want it to be smooth, you have to put a lot of frames too, of course. So that's how you use it. So how to use this, ha, the floor thingy, the thing that I did on my other stick notes video, so let's put the floor. So you next go uh, to the library tools at the bottom of the animation tools, let's go down here, the library tools. What you do with the library tools is, you see the import stick figure where you add and delete the stick figure, also you can edit the stick figure. And this is where you create a stick figure, and this is where you download. Or maybe you can just go to Google and search stick notes, and then you can download some notes. I'm also going to make a video on how to download stick stick or notes effects on, on the stick notes site, website. So yeah, and you can also submit a stick figure that you created on that website so that you can make be popular and stuff. So yeah. So the first thing, the basics is you gotta click the import stick figure here. Import a stick figure. So there's already a lot of notes that you're gonna get. You can get Spider Man. I didn't download this. I just got this instantly. And you can get Iron Man. And you can also get Batman. And you can also get Goku. And you can also get dog. You can also get cat. And a girl. And a stick figure. And a background. So what. And also the most important thing. The floor. So I didn't download this. This instantly went to my app already. And then I created this. Notes. You don't need to use it. You just need. For you, since you don't know how to make it, I'm actually also going to post a video on how to make notes on stick notes. So, since you don't know how to make it, uh, <coughs> what you got to do is click, click this. You see this? These two buttons. This is for the scrolling. So you want to move it on that floor. So, every floor is actually just the same. So, yeah, when you put it over there. And this one, the try. The square one, don't pick the circle one. You click, I mean, you can just click the circle and the square. So just remember, guys, the square is for putting, for example. See this? See that square over there? You click it and move everything like that. Just, just like that. Okay, so you have to click that square. So you go here, you go up this side, see this? And then on that side, you see the stick figure tools, right? So that stick figure tools is about this guy. So when you click that circle or that uh, square, you can scroll down here, scroll down. You can see flip X so that you can flip and flip Y so that you can upside down it. You, it's very important to use this on stick figures if you still don't know how to animate. Okay, so there's also center center stick figure to put the the stick figure on the center of the screen, and then there's also 
post stick figure backwards. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna teach you how to use this, guys, in another episode, cause this is just basic learning. So yeah. So you gotta scroll down after the center stick figure. You see the stick figure color, right? You can color the stick figure like this. So I'm gonna color it green. And then you see that. This is gonna be color green now. If you want to make grass, just make this bigger. You just click the stick figure scale, this plus. You just click that and you put that stick figure down where you want to put it down. And then, yeah. And if you want to change the color of the background, that is the easiest part. For me, only for me. So, you gotta click this one. You see this, the frame? Yeah, you click the frame. Click that. And then you click, you see, he, okay, click. And you see here, you see that's there, the frame tools, because that is one frame. And if you add another frame, it makes an animation, right? Okay, so this is the background color. You just click the background, and then click, and I'm just going to make it a blue, clear sky. Wait, okay, it needs to be perfect. Okay, there we go. And it's a blue, perfect sky. And you can also um, put sounds, but that's only for, for pro version. Actually, I suggest you buy the pro version on Play Store because it's actually the best. You can put sounds and you can actually also make it as a video, not a GIF. So the bad thing about not the pro version, you can't make your animation into a video. You can only make it as a GIF. And since there's no sounds on the uh, not pro version, then it's going to be not a good animation. So it's actually useless if you download the non-pro. So it's better if you download the pro version. It's very worth it. I promise you guys, it's really worth it. Okay, so now I made a stick figure of my own. But you can just click here, here, and then... Ah, so I said to you guys, you gotta go scroll down and then see this. You have to click this white part here, right? See this white part? You can see, okay, scroll up and you see the stick figure here. Most stop. You click that stick figure and you click this one, the add stick figure. Then you add and see this is the stick figure that you're gonna use to animate. So this is just gonna be a simple walking animation but I also made my own stick figure uh, uh, by AJ stick figure there it is so, okay, I made the stick figure to look it better you see this the feet I'm gonna put it right over here for the walking animation so I'm just gonna pose the uh, animating is all about posing so it's just all about posing your stick figure, what you want it to do. So you just pose, pose it like that. And then you click the add frame. Click that thing over there, you add the frame. And then on the next video, I'm gonna teach you how to add sounds. So that's just a simple walking animation. Oh, so I actually forgot, you have to, on this the training because it's the most important thing so how to on that is you click this you see after the copy at the right of the copy the the triangle you click that and then you see your animation moving right and then you see the animation tools so this is where you see it this is the full screen button makes it full screen and then this is the show filters the However, I'm also going to teach you how to use filters too. And also, this is the tweening button on. So you have to on it so that it will be very smooth like this. And don't on the looping animation. It's just only for like square, circle things like that. And you have to on. So this is the tween frames. Obviously for you it will be 5 directly. But for me you have to put it into 8 so that it will be really smooth. Okay. So let's... Uh, I'm just gonna skip this. Just gonna show you. Okay, so this is the finishing animating progress. So you see this? This is frame. I pose it like this. 
And another frame like this. It's a frame like this, right over here. It's like that. And then here, it does like that on its feet. Okay, let's just make it smoother. It's easy. Okay, so, um, the next frame is that. There's another walk, just like this one, but further, and then put that standing. So this is the finishing animation. So thanks for watching, guys. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And goodbye.